Nails shut the windows and steer clear of heavy trees. A thunderstorm may be on its way, but players are prepared for every eventuality as the tryout period for the Michigan Stars Football Club continues. Salvatore Perini and his coaching staff arrive early at Wixon and go over the training sessions as they prepare for the second pre-season match of the 2014 campaign. Hey, Christian first name. Yeah, Jenny, right. what happened to the hair? I lost the bat. Christian. <laughs> Stars will play against the Carpathia Kickers, a team that Salvatore and the squad know well, having played against them on previous occasions. During their first encounter of the 2013 campaign, the Dearborn Stars lost the U.S. Amateur Cup Final against the Kickers. We met in the Amateur Cup Finals and lost 2-0. I thought that game was a good game. We, we competed. Both teams played very well. We had our opportunities. They had theirs. And, you know, they finished theirs. We unfortunately did not finish ours, and the game ended in their favor. We were the better team. We possessed a lot more. We created a lot of opportunities. Hit the post multiple times. Just couldn't find a way to score and, and put the game out of reach. Um, and the longer you keep carpeting the game, the longer, the tougher it is for, for you to find a way to win. Not long after, the two teams would meet each other again, this time in the League Cup, where the Dearborn Stars earned a 2-1 victory and had their revenge. With just 32 days to go before the new season starts, the team travels to Gross Point North High School, for their friendly match against the Kickers. Nothing's guaranteed. I don't know if you guys know that. I mean, you guys gotta put in an effort like you're trying to make a squad. I mean, do you guys think you played well? Be honest. Look at yourself in the mirror and say, did I play well? Now, at times we did, at times we didn't. Most of the times we didn't. We got the ball and it was like a track meet that they had to score instantly. We don't keep the ball, but it's just not good enough. It really isn't. First 45 wasn't nearly what it needs to be. Right? Danny had the ball, the same thing. James had the ball, the same thing. We're just watching the person with the ball instead of helping. I want my outside backs to get involved, and that hasn't really happened. You guys got like three minutes in here, like come out and we'll just go jogging and we'll go over the line. Sort it out. I uh, wasn't happy with the performance as a whole. Um, individually, there was some good things I saw with players, which is good because that's what I'm trying to look at, but at the same time, as a collective unit, it wasn't good enough. We definitely got a problem with this. It's, it's very, very, very quiet. There's so many times when people are getting the ball to feet, they can turn. We've been training for a while now. Like, you know what kind of type of play you're playing with. You know what I mean? Like, don't skip players. Play where you see it. Simple as that. The second half saw a lot of improvement from the Stars players, but the game would ultimately end tied one each after 90 minutes. The team will now focus on their upcoming friendly against Madonna University. This is a trial period, the guys are getting used to each other and I saw a lot of things that opened my eyes towards 
what guys can play at the next level and what guys can just stay at a common men's league. Um, JV came over my house and I told him that my car is messed up. Uh, he didn't offer to drive his car, so I had to drive my car to the game. And uh, we ended up uh, getting stranded on the highway. Jack, his car broke down. I get a call, I get a phone call from Jack. My car won't work, I pull over on the highway. So like, all right, we'll be there 15 minutes. <laughs> his car broke down the freeway going back home on 94. We see a car pulled over, so we pull over. We get behind the car, we're getting ready. We ended up pulling up to some car. We thought it was Jed's car, and we all got out. We, call, oh, we go to the man. side, it ends up being some random lady stuck on the highway. <laughs> the people in the front of it. Who are these guys stopping behind his car? We see these four people look back out of the window, and so we just ran back to the car, pretending like it didn't happen, just drove off. Ready? We kept driving, and then we stopped behind them. They were pulled over on the freeway. There was smoke coming out of the car. He had no oil in the car whatsoever, so you know what I'm saying? They were just sitting inside the car. The whole engine was gone. We needed a new engine. It had gasket. Bye, child. Bye. <laughs> These kids just drive them cars, you know. They don't check no oil, no antifreeze, nothing. All they know is just turn the switch on and boom, try it. Pretty much like my wife, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> my brother and the mechanic is coming. They're coming. They were helping, they just came and made fun of me, that's all it is. What happened to the car? Uh, the whole engine was gone. <laughs> I had to get a new engine. Tore the car. It was just a funny thing, I guess, for the day. Madonna University, a place with a lot of history for some of the players of the Michigan Stars. Its Hall of Fame honors the school's best athletes and teams. Amongst them, head coach Salvatore Perini, who during his four-year career as a Madonna Crusader, scored 75 goals and set the all-time school scoring record. It would be good for me to see new guys, different combinations that I want to look at, and you know, maybe give a couple other guys another opportunity to try to prove themselves. Making some decisions on which guys I'm going to continue to look at and which guys I'm going to take a step back and have my conversations with about uh, being a part of our reserve squad and, and still trying for them to fight for a spot. Listen. Guys, you're not putting in an effort in the first five. I will make a sub. Like I said, we're trying to pull through all spots. So you here, you have to impress. It's weak, okay? You're all here because you know how to play ball. So keep it simple. Keep it on the ground. It's the point. Play simple. Put some goals, all right? You're carrying, you're carrying this ball, man. Right? You're carrying this ball. You can't see in your head. Come on. All right? Let's go. Starts on three. All right? One, two, three. Starts. The Donald University was very aggressive, I got into tackles, played very hard, which is something that I think was good for us because it showed us our character and we had guys that stepped in and, and got into tackles and weren't afraid of getting into those situations. And we had guys who had each other's back and that, that's a good thing. It brings the team together and although the game at times is very ugly and aggressive, it's going to happen and our guys have to react to that. I thought that it was overall very positive. That we were the better team overall after 90 minutes Created a lot of opportunities, played against a team that was out to prove. And they were very hard, and as much of a friendly it was, they treated it like it was a game, and that was good for our guys to respond and act to that. You know, we didn't go out there and just walk all over them. The way we played and the way we responded at the end, I thought it was very good. DJ, what did you see from back there? The diagonal balls from our defensive third across the middle that are just telling us because we keep giving it away. It's not to be. Yeah. Final third, decision making in the final third needs to be a little bit better. Um, I think our last ball in, that flick, is hurting us. Let's just continue to play the way we face. If you're going to find the target speed, just play the way you face instead of flicking it, and it spins away, and then we can go wide or go to goal. Oh, yeah. Come on! 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 Come on!
I saw a lot of good things, both collectively as a unit and individually as the players stepped up in certain situations. We ended up winning the game, created a lot of opportunities. Moving forward, I feel that we have made large steps in the right directions with our player personnel. My staff and I have lowered the number of guys from the beginning 80 to now a good group of about 40 guys. We're still looking at about three or four more guys that are currently at their colleges, finishing out their spring season and their semester. Guys that will take over positions if they come in and, and are fit and are ready to play. With that being said, I think the guys that are here now know that and have been working hard which is making it hard for me to, to end up choosing our roster. We have a different group of probably six or seven different starting 11s that I could put on the field right now that could compete against any team we play. I mean, it, it's a good problem to have, but at the same time, it's a problem. And we're gonna need the guys to step it up and the uh, guys that are coming in are gonna need to prove themselves right off the bat. A lot of things moving forward, but at the same time, a lot of cuts happening, a lot of players no longer being a part of it. And, and you know, at the end of the day, that's, that's how it is and that's how it works. So we're gonna have to probably hurt some feelings, but we're gonna win at all costs, and that, that's the goal. You about to witness hip hop in its most purest, most rawest form, flow almost flawless, most hardest, most honest, known artist, chip off the old block, but oh.